Buenos días and welcome to our how to edit QMP keyboard using Kubrock. This tutorial is created by Quorum Data Systems GmbH. To edit QMP keyboard, we are using a QCC file which is already configured. For example, we see departments, articles, balance functions. Now we go to menu, Kibo, and will be display this dialog. On the right menu, we have zoom in and zoom out for the Kibo. OK button will save all the changes that we have done, cancel will avoid them, and help will display the standard help file for Kubrick. Below, in blue color, a drop-down list with all the keyboards in QMP. Select the correct one according to the register model. Edit properties, it is used to modify the keyboard settings and is also possible to access with a right click on any keyboard key. Print keyboard, it is used to print out the keyboard for models which are not tactile. For example, QMP 18 and QMP 5000. On key info will be displayed the settings for the active key. For example, we have select the key 46, which has configured the key code 10087. 10000 is the code for PLUs, and 87 is the PLU number from the config file. That's why below appears function 87 and the PLU name on the drop-down list. This area is reserved for receipt, invoice, an operating view. For example, in tactile models, it is not possible to edit. To start, we want to delete the functions which are pre-configured in our PLU keys. For that, we select all of them, do a right-click on any key, and select Clear from the Properties, Edit Properties button. On the button, I will only want to show you these important keys, which are system keys, Every keyboard should have these functions. Are basically five functions. To start, we're gonna show you the first basic function, which is key span. This one here is a key span horizontal. It's only also possible to do a key span like a block and key span vertical. What it does is only create a, a combined cells. It will be like a standard key, but it is possible to do it bigger. We can modify the background color. We can also insert a bitmap. You can insert your, only, your, your own bitmaps, or you can acquire one for us. Speaking with our sales department, we have a big database with image. It's also possible to edit the text on the key. For example, we want to do only testing. Additionally, we want to modify the font on the key. For example, we can do double width and double height, or the both together. We left it as a standard and we'll only modify the color of the text. Right click, text color, and we choose the color from our palette. We can use also a specific number if you have it, create your own code. Now we're going to include a direct PLU key. Select one keyboard key, select from the type drop down list PLU. Now it is possible to select the PLU number from the function drop-down list or below from the PLU name drop-down list. The same process it is used to include any function on the key. For example, to include direct departments, corrections, discounts, macros, it is necessary to select first the type and then the function. The range is used to automatically fill up multiple selected keys with the same function type, but using increased numbers. 
in this case PLU number 60 till 66 because we select six keys. This same process can be done for series for departments, corrections, macros, etc. And now we're going to change the background color of these keys. Once again, select all the key, right click, background color, select the new color, press OK. It is possible to modify a key directly if we know the key code. Before in this video, we use a drop-down list to select the type and function. But now, we will use a key code number. For example, 1300 is a balance function numeral. As soon as we write it on the key code field and press enter, the key is configured. The same here for corrections. We easily can copy and paste a function from the keyboard. Balance numeral is a fixed key function. Another fixed function are numeric keyboard, SIPS, PLU number, corrections number, call, clear, and scale. Please review the multiple functions which are possible to configure. Very important feature are import and export keyboard. To save our current keyboard for future use, we use the button Edit Properties, Save Keyboard. Select Directory and write the name. Using key OK, we save it in our configuration point QCC file. Now we simulate that our keyboard settings are gone. Don't forget that previously we have saved it, so there is no problem. We can easily import it. Using Edit Properties button, lower from key file. We press OK to save changes. QMP allows us to use a maximum of 8 keyboard levels in case it is required. To include additional keyboard levels, go to Menu, Config, Keyboard Level and write the quantity of keyboard levels required. Press OK to accept changes. Once again, come back to Kibo and now appears a drop down list with the Kibo level and a field with the standard Kibo level name. It is optional to edit it. We are going to load our save Kibo and do some changes. Now we see keyboard level 1 and 2. To change keyboard levels exist different possibilities, for example include a fixed key, keyboard level numeral, which display all the keyboard levels possible to change. Another option is a specific keyboard level key. For example, on keyboard level 1 we include a key to go directly to keyboard level 2 and the same in keyboard level 2. It means we will include a keyboard level 1 on the keyboard level 2. 
It is also possible using system parameters options, change to a default Kibo level after a sale or after a selected PLU. Goodbye and thank you for watching.